In today's video, I'm sharing 10 dress patterns with you that you can use to create designer-inspired stay-at-home dresses. They're comfortable, stylish, and maybe even a little bit glamorous. I'm Sharon with Sharon Sews, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button right now. Recently, there was an article from NPR called Don't Sweat It. The house dress is here to rescue 2020. I will link that article below in the description so you can read it all for yourself. Basically, the article said more and more people are switching to dresses and ditching the leggings and the jeans and the tees that many of us started wearing when we first had the stay at home orders. In the context of this article, a house dress isn't what you might be envisioning. When I first saw the headline, I was picturing house dress from maybe the 40s to the 50s, something my grandmother would have worn, simply a cotton dress that you put on and buttoned down the front, maybe a couple pockets to put things in. And that is not what this article considers a house dress. For purposes of this article, it's simply a dress that is being worn at home. Apparently, according to this article, the sale of comfortable yet cute dresses is on the rise. Well, we sew. That means we can sew some fabulous looks ourselves. And you might be feeling kind of burnt out with wearing t-shirts and jeans or shorts, cut off shorts. And maybe you want to don a dress that looks really good for your next Zoom meeting. With that in mind, I've chosen 10 dress patterns. They're stylish, they're cute. Some of them are easier to sew than others. All of them I think would make fantastic house dresses. I do have a Pinterest board that I will link below in the description for you where I've saved all the designer looks. So the 10 patterns that I've chosen in no particular order are the first one is the Wilder gown pattern from the Friday Pattern Company. This gown is described as a loose flowy tiered dress that can be sewn up in many different ways. It has raglan sleeves and ties at the neck. It is designed for drapey woven fabrics and it comes in sizes extra small which is a bust 32 to 4x a bust 53. Use a cotton voile to achieve these looks, either by using one print or mixing prints. Or if you want a challenge, try it in a Georgette. Or use a small floral cotton print, add an additional tear to the skirt and hack the sleeves to make them fuller. A basic tee dress pattern, the ultimate comfort, wearing a t-shirt all day long. So I'm sure many of you already have a t-shirt pattern in mind, but if not, you could certainly use Love Notion's Laundry Day Tee or Quick Sew 3561. The Laundry Day Tee is a t-shirt that has a swing shape to it. It comes in sizes extra small to 5X, which is a bust 33 inches to 57 and a half inches. And this is a PDF pattern. There's multiple necklines and sleeve lengths, and there's also a full bust piece included, so you don't need to do a full bust adjustment. Quick Sew 3561 is a close fitting t-shirt dress with a boat or scoop neck long or short sleeves, and this comes in an extra small to extra large, which is a 31 and a half to 45 inch bust. Use a printed knit, even a border print, or try a tie-dye cotton jersey. Glam it up by sewing a strip of sequins down the center front or embellishing it with chain trim around the neckline. This list wouldn't be complete without a wrap dress. Flattering and easy to wear. Now, when you think of a wrap dress, you might think of the iconic 70s version from Diane von Furstenberg, which is a classic. And you could use Vogue 8379 to achieve a similar look. If you prefer to do a woven wrap dress, try New Look 6600. Vogue 8379 comes in sizes 8 through 22. And this wrap dress has soft pleats at the waistline, a side tied, and sleeve variations, and you can sew it with or without the collar. New Look 6600 is designed for lightweight wovens. There are bust starts and a waistline seam, and it comes in sizes 10 through 22. There are just so many options when it comes to fabric choices for a wrap dress. Try a beautiful floral or try two separate colors. This is the year for that color blocking with two separate prints. Try a beautiful solid color, maybe in a cashmere knit or try crushed velvet. How fun would that be for a stay at home dress? 
A shirt dress is another classic look. The ones that I'm sharing is a shirt dress with a waistline. A little bit of definition gives you just a little more structure. So you could use Cashmere at the Lennox shirt dress, or McCall's has a brand new release, 8139, that has that waist definition. The Lennox shirt dress features curve friendly princess seams, a collar or banded neckline, and the choice of pleated or gathered skirt. There's a V neck button placket and roomy pockets. It is available in sizes 12 to 38 with three cup sizes, and it is designed for light to medium weight woven fabrics. Mid calls 8139, you can get in sizes 6 through 24, and it has optional pockets on the chest, darts, and an optional tie belt, long or short sleeves also. There are so many options when you're sewing a shirt dress. Try the contrast animal print pockets, or striped fabric, or a classic denim, or even faux leather. A simple straight knit dress with a higher collar is perfect for transitioning into colder weather. You could use a pattern from the Burtis Down magazine. It's also available online. It's from the January 2019 issue, dress number 111. This pattern comes in sizes 34 to 42, which is a bust 31 and a half to 37 and three quarter. And it has a slightly raised bateau neckline, inseam pockets and three quarter sleeves. Use a sweater knit or a French terry. Draft your own waist ties and stitch them into the side seam. Try a luxurious merino wool knit or even a plaid. A pullover dress or shift style dress out of woven fabric would be wonderful. A great pattern for that look is the Sew My Style Erin dress pattern. This style Sew Me Erin dress is a pullover dress designed for light and medium weight wovens. View B has that cute little tie at the hemline. View A has pockets available in size XX small, which is a bust 31 inches to a 3X, which is a bust 48 inches. This pattern is perfect to show off that beautiful piece of fabric that you have in your stash. Eliminate the sleeves on view B and the tie to achieve one look or pull out a beautiful piece of wool crepe in a solid color for a classic look. Try a tiny floral print or larger print. Go ahead and hack those sleeves to give it a little more interest like this look here. A captain silhouette with the fullness controlled with a belt is what Simplicity 9139 will provide for you. This relaxed fit Captain, tunic, or dress with self tied belt is available in sizes XX small to XXL, and it's suitable for woven. Try using a beautifully printed silk print or brightly colored linen. For added comfort, use a linen without the belt or even try a stable knit. Vogue 1698 is another loose fitting dress, more of a caftan style. Of course, if you prefer the traditional caftan, you could try the popular Simplicity 8505, which is a 1970s reprint. Vogue 1698 comes in sizes 8 through 24, and it's for wovens. It's a very loose fitting dress with button front placket, sleeve and length variations, and it has some really interesting seam details on that front. Simplicity 8505 is what many of us think of as a traditional caftan. Again, it's a reprint from the 1970s, available in small, medium, large. The large goes up to a size 20. To achieve these designer-inspired looks, eliminate the collar and add little tie ends. Use the tiny stripes to really highlight the seaming details on this dress and use embroidery or lace along the front bodice or the sleeves. If you Google Simplicity 8505, you will see many, many versions of this captain sewn up already. These are just a few designer versions to give you some more inspiration. It's just a beautiful basic pattern and depending on your fabric, fabulous. If you're looking for a pullover dress that's designed for wovens and has a little bit of structure in the waistline, try the Asha dress from Style Art. Or is it Asha? I'm not sure. I'll have to find out the right way to pronounce that one. This pullover dress features a curved hem, shirred cuffs and waist, and is available in a PDF or printed version in sizes 4 through 30. To achieve these looks, use a solid color, straighten the hem on one side, and add decorative buttons at the front to mimic that dolman sleeve. Or use a floral crepe, straighten the hem, and add a large tear at the bottom. Try adding a flounce to the front of the skirt, or straighten that hem, add a deep side slit, add a belt, and bring that keyhole closure from the back to the front and add a little tie. The Celeste dress from Itch to Stitch is my ultimate comfort stay at home dress. I love that dress. I have another one cut out that I will be sewing up soon. There's just so many things you can do to it. 
to change the look. The Celeste dress is a multi-cup size PDF pattern available in sizes 00 through 20. It has front and back princess seams, high-waisted center front with gathers, slanted front pockets, optional side zipper, and is designed for woven fabrics. Try using two separate prints like this top or do an all lace one. You'd need to lengthen the sleeves and add some fullness to the sleeves. Or you could always use a gauze and add a lot of trim for a boho look. Or use a metallic for that bib front, lengthen the sleeves again for a completely different look. Those are my 10 house dress patterns that will help you create designer inspired dresses for staying at home that are comfortable, cute, stylish and glamorous depending on the fabric you use what pattern do you think would make a great stay at home house dress leave it in the comments below that way we can all learn from one another and i may discover a pattern i hadn't thought of i'm sharon with sharon sews thank you for stepping by thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we've got a special appearance by tandy who's sticking close to me today i think she can sense that the storms are coming be safe be blessed and happy sewing. I may.